What's up, beautiful family? Hope everybody's having a great afternoon. I just left Publix. We wanted to do seafood tonight, so I just went and grabbed some, we're gonna do like crab legs and shrimp and crab cakes and stuff like that. So um, I just left there and I just wanted to come on here and just like chat with you guys for a minute about this whole Trump thing again. Um, because you know i've just i've literally been sitting here pondering for the past couple hours like what the heck is going on um so y'all know i told you guys yesterday about how um trump said he had a lot of wealthy very wealthy people that were very angry at him listen i mean we already know this okay like trump is you know making everybody mad <laughs> They cannot stand him. And you know what George Soros said about him, how you know he would be out or be disappearing by or before 2020. And then he's saying, you know, these you know very wealthy people are you know really mad at me, they're angry with me. You probably won't be seeing me for a while, or you won't see me for a while. And then I come across this picture that was sent to me of the whole basically the whole staff in the White House going like outside to like wave goodbye to him to like tell him bye as he leaves for Ohio and it's weird to me because you don't see behavior like this like you, like you the, the whole staff doesn't come out of the White House to tell him bye for the day you know like especially if he's coming back you know he, he does things like this all the time he goes and speaks to you know different places all the time so it's just <clears throat> it's weird is what it is with him saying all of that you know and before he left I'm gonna show you this picture real quick look at this the whole staff is out there look over there to the bottom right hand corner it's just weird and then he goes live I believe it was yesterday uh, and I think he was talking about um, how he's, I don't think he was going to be meeting up with uh, Macron or he was talking about Macron. Anyways, um, y'all, I think I got a stick dragging underneath my car. I sure do. <laughs> um, but anyway, so he goes on live and it's just like, he looks like he's in some basement or something like it's dark and just eerie like I, guys I'm telling you just something's weird something I'm like I don't know if we're gonna get nuked by China because a bunch of brothers and sisters are having dreams about war with China so I don't know if Trump just thinks that he's gonna get assassinated or he's just scared of these people or I don't know if the rapture is about to take place I don't know but I'm telling you something's weird and everybody can like feel it in their spirit that like something's off can't quite put your finger on it so um i just wanted to like sh first of all i just want to show you guys that picture because i know a lot of you are like oh he's not going out and hire he's not going out and hiding or whatever well somebody then explained to me why his whole staff was outside waving goodbye like he ain't gonna be back it's weird y'all so, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that picture and, like, just get your opinions on it. Because, y'all, I've been sitting here stirring on this, like, what is going on? Um, I don't know. I think, like I said, these next couple of months are going to be very, very interesting. Like, I... <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. I have no idea, but I do know the one thing that we can count on is the Lord has been showing us that time is up, that he's coming, you know, to look up. Like it's 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 about time for the rapture. So I don't know. I just think as everything completely goes down, we're gonna go up. <laughs> so y'all stay encouraged. Um, I, I just, I, I really just cannot put my finger on like how, I can't really describe like how I'm feeling there's other you know brothers and sisters who've been saying that they feel anxious they feel like something's about to pop off and nothing really is yet it's super weird because Lebanon had that explosion okay and first they were just saying that it was an accident well now they're thinking it might have been 
a bombing or some type of missile and so now they're they're really looking into things and the weird thing is to me is that now there's been within I think like the same day the 24 hour time span of when Lebanon had that explosion there were like many other explosions or fires that broke out in different countries and stuff and it's still happening <coughs> I just saw on Sister Joelle's Instagram story of another firework explosion that just happened somewhere. I'm like, what is going on? Is this some kind of worldly terrorist attack? Like, are they are they going around just like I don't I don't know. I I, I really do not know. But it, what would it uh, what is weird to me and what I find very interesting is that I think it was back in 2018 Netanyahu was threatening to uh, bomb, I believe, that same place that Lebanon just had that explosion. And basically Lebanon was saying that if that happened, that they would retaliate towards Israel. And it's just, I don't know. I know Israel said that they didn't do it and they were offering a helping hand even though Lebanon turned it down. It's really, really awful what's going on over there. I mean, it literally looks like an, an apocalypse. I mean, it's it's awful. Um, just the footage is completely heartbreaking, but I just have a feeling that like something, I just, I feel like we're, I feel like they may be on the brink of war. We do know that Israel is the apple of God's eye, but um, it's just, it's crazy how Netanyahu was literally just a couple years ago threatening to bomb that very place that exploded. And I'm not saying that they did it, but I'm just saying that even if it was an accident or maybe, <clears throat> I don't know, because I've seen footage going around where there was a missile going down into that area and then it exploded. Um, so I, I'm not saying that Israel did it. I don't know. I think they're looking into it. I really don't. I have no clue what's going on. However, that may just gave that may just give Syria a an excuse to just go after Israel. So I don't know. Um, I just I can't really explain what the heck Trump is doing. I don't know why it looked like he was in some dark basement for these past two times that he went and spoke after Ohio. I don't know. The whole thing was weird with his staff. Y'all leave your comments below. I'm headed home. Uh, I am going to bring you guys some more stuff. Uh, like I said, I am going to um, be talking about here soon the United Allied States and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you all.